in a partial veneer crown retention can be increased by increased length of path of insertion increase in taper making path of removal parallel to long axis of adjacent teeth and none of the above uh, for example what is a partial veneer crown so you have 3/4 crown or proximal half crown or 7/8 crown so these are not full coverage restoration or they are going to take support only from a part of the entire tooth now when we talk of an entire tooth as a whole assembly we talk about path of draw in case of complete coverage crowns we consider them as cylinders okay so path of insertion or path of draw is an important parameter that means how easily can the restoration come out in case of a partial veneer crown you don't want the restoration to come out very easily now although here the taper is minimal the surface area taper is less surface area is more but the path of draw is parallel to the long axis this is ideal in full coverage restorations not in partial coverage in partial coverage you need some amount of additional retention form and you provide proximal grooves to limit this kind of movement where the restoration is going to pop out as the taper increases the path of draw becomes easier okay and the retention form reduces now because we are talking about partial veneer crown the retention is already lesser since we are taking uh we are looping it only to limited part of the crown for example consider this here this is a 3/4 crown in this preparation the labial portion is not prepared right and then you give a proximal groove additionally for retention and resistance so that you can enhance more retention so because you are incorporating these features there is already uh, some amount of restriction with the preparation you don't want to prepare too much and give too much taper otherwise the crown is not going to sit in its place so if you are talking about a partial veneer crown the retention can be increased by the first option is increasing the length of path of insertion so if you have a longer path of insertion that means it is more retentive so yes you can increase the retention by this technique increase in taper that means if you increase the degree of convergence like this it is going to reduce the retention so this is incorrect making path of removal parallel to long axis of teeth this is done ideally for full coverage crowns not for partial veneer crowns this is incorrect and none of the above so that is incorrect so the correct answer is option 1 by increasing the length of path of draw that means making sure that the walls are a little longer and you have more resistance like this for the crown to top over okay so the correct answer is one